Kuf Badidi has signed on the dotted line and is reportedly settling into his new job as director of yachting. Didi is the former general manager of the IGY Rodney Bay Marina. He started his new job on Tuesday and will head a special division in the Ministry of Tourism that coordinates efforts in the yachting sector. Minister for Tourism Alan Shastney says the burgeoning sector needs a clearly defined structure to spur rapid but sustainable growth. He says DDA will be charged with shaping changes in policy. He's going to be heading up a, a project out of my ministry, um, uh, specifically at looking at developing the yachting industry here. So we're looking at the ship registry system. Um, we're looking and trying to uh, uh, build up the uh, ancillary services, so boat repairs, mechanical repairs. Um, we're also looking at improving the yachting berthing facilities here in St. Lucia. The tourism minister wants to cut through the swaths of bureaucratic entanglements he believes impedes the progress of a potentially lucrative subsector in the tourism industry. Shastney says the special yachting division will consider procedural changes like multi-use visas. Let me give you a good example. Uh, Australians require a visa to come to St. Lucia. Um, it's really now giving them the ability to get a, a multi, uh, multi-use visa, meaning that they can come back several times within a time period. The way it is right now, uh, a person getting a visa would only be allowed one entry. So it's really a multiple entry visa um, to help facilitate those things. The establishment of a ship registry and appointment of a yachting director was first mentioned by Prime Minister Stevenson King in his last budget presentation. At the time, speaking as GM of the marina, Didier had enthusiastically endorsed the idea and job many said were tailor-made for a man of his skills and talents. Chastney says Didier is steeped in knowledge of the yachting business and is well suited to effect the changes needed to transform the sector. Winston Springer Jr., HTS News, Channel 4.